What is good, gang? It's your boy Stones, and I'm back with a heater, man. Y'all read the title today. I'm about to make y'all some better green beaners, know what I'm saying? About to make y'all some better shooters, know what I'm saying? Where them switches at? You know what I mean? Without further ado, man, we jumping right into this one, man. For y'all those who don't know, I record all my content live. All my footage is live. All my tips, pro tips, and everything are going to be live. I promise that there is no cap in the rap. So without further ado, man, we jumping right into this. So, <clears throat> first things first, what you're going to want to do is... What you're going to want to do is ignore that duck, <laughs> for one. You're going to want to leave your shot timing release on late or whatever the default setting is for 2K. I haven't changed that. You're going to want to turn your meter off. Trigger effect, it doesn't matter, right? And what you're going to want to do is pretty much when you're shooting the ball right before your my player pushes, well, right when he's at his peak and about to push the ball forward, you're going to release whatever you're shooting with, whether it's the stick or square. And it's going to be green every time. Not slightly early. Oh, that was a green. That is crazy. Because to me, it felt slightly early. And I like the shooting this year because this year you can actually tell if you're releasing it early, if you're releasing it late, if, you know, you can actually feel that in your jump shot. If you actually, you know, but you're going to run a release. As you see, those are two greens back to back. You're going to run a release it right when he's pushing the ball forward. Like so. Oh, that one was late. All right, they're lying. I don't know what that was about. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You can almost feel it every time. You're gonna really want to release it literally right there. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't really gotten the timing down on the sh the leaning shots. I'm still kind of learning because it's kind of funny. Some of the timings are. As soon as he finished the animation, and some of the timings are just like the standing still shots when he's about to push the ball forward. So I'm kind of unsure about where the timing is, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to give it an effort and try and see if I, you know, I can get the timing down. So for the, the just straight dribble pull-ups, what you're going to want to do is, what I normally do is with these dribble pull-ups, is I turbo whichever direction I'm going, right? And then you could just pull the stick back. And for that release, I believe for that release, you release it at the same timing as a standing still jump shot. Right? Let's try again. So once he's about to push the ball forward, still slightly early. Copy. So that means I'm releasing it just a little bit too quickly. But what you want to... Oh, I know that was off. <laughs> what you want to relatively do when you're shooting is pay attention to your player. This is why I say to turn the meter off. Because if you play this to your player, you can literally tell what kind of timing was your release. You can tell when you should be releasing the ball. You can also tell, you know, if you getting a fat jumper, which is a fat jumper. Let me break that down to you. What I call a fat jumper is when your stamina is very low, right? Your stamina is very low. Yeah, let me dribble out my stamina real quick. Just to show y'all guys. Damn, it's taking. I don't even got handles for days on. I don't know why it's taking so long for my stamina to deplete. All right, so a fat jumper is one of these. I never time these, but it's when your release is pretty much slower than normal, and that tends to happen because <clears throat> this year on shooting to shooting on 2K is three different timings on your shot. You have a timing when you're tired, you have a timing when you're getting contested, and you have a timing, just a flat out timing. Which is why the badges, you know, it kinda gives you a consistent timing on your shot. That's pretty much all the badges do this year, or shooting badges do to me, I feel like. It just gives you a consistent timing on your shot. Cause whether, you know, you have 30 shooting badges or 10, you can green. You know what I'm saying? If you're green, you're green, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're green, you feel me? <laughs> well, <laughs> if you're green though, man, you're green, man. So it's like, I'm not going to lie. I love the shooting this year. But yeah, I'm still trying to learn these. Maybe I'll get back to you guys. Oh, there goes a the green. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. 
Let's see. Let's try it one more again. Okay. But anyway, back to the explanation on the Fat Jumper, right? So, there's three, there's three different releases this year on 2K. There's the Contested, there's the Regular, and there's the When You're Tired. When you're tired, your jump shot is going to be relatively slow. Your release timing is going to be relatively slow. So meaning that the animation would just probably, you know, come out slower. But it's the same shot. You're going to run and release it as soon as, you know, he's about to push the ball forward. But when you're getting contested, your jump, the animation is going to come out a lot faster. I guess because your my player is in a hurry to get it up because, you know, he, he senses that there's a defender coming. So I'm guessing that's the, you know, the physics or the idea of what it's supposed to do and what it's supposed to mean. And then you have your regular jump shot. And also... To keep in mind when shooting, the further you are away, the faster your animation also comes out. So, I never really, I don't think I can hit these with this player because this year also if you don't have the attribute means for it, they're not going to let you shoot. You need to have your big toe on the line. I'm sorry you're not hitting from here if you have an 83 with a bronze limitless. You're not. You're not hitting consistently from here. I don't care. I, I don't care what no one says. Out of 10 shots, you're probably going to hit two of them. If you have an 80, you know, and this is on this player, he has an 83. So I don't, I'm probably not going to be able to hit from there. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if these tips, you know, these little pointers help y'all out and y'all shooting journey. Because I'm not going to lie to y'all this year, at the beginning of the year, I was stink. I could not shoot to save my life. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But if you release the ball, <clears throat> literally, that was slightly early and I felt that. If you release the ball, literally, right before he pushes it forward, it's going to be green every single time. So, on that note, gang, we are out of here.